In this video, I'm going to show you how to add clickable text to Elementor. Here's an example. Here's some text right here. We click on it and it goes to my website right over here. That open in the same tab. Here's another example. We'll click on this link right here and this opens in a new tab and it goes to a website outside of the original site. I'm going to show you how to do both of those in this tutorial. This tutorial is part of the Elementor Skills playlist where you gain a solid foundation in Elementor so you can build better and bigger websites. That playlist is linked to in the description down below so make sure you check it out after you watch this video. And if you have any questions or comments about this specific video, please leave them down below. I try to answer the best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's get started. First things first, let's open a page in Elementor so we can edit it and add clickable text. So let's open any page or make any new page with Elementor. Let's just use the services page for this example and find the piece of text you want to make clickable. Highlight it just like this. Everything you highlight will become a clickable link with this process. Click on this little link icon to add the link and that link can go to wherever you want. For example, my website wplearninglab.com where you should go if you want some cool WordPress tutorials. So check out that website if you want to. Click on enter and now we have a link right here. And in this styling right here, it's very subtle. It's a kind of a little bit of a lighter gray. When you hover over it, it goes green. You can change that styling over here. So it's more clear as to what's happening with this link. And over here on the left, it's much more clear. It's, it's like a, a blue, the regular blue color for the link. And you can also add links on the editor on the left if you want to, just highlight the text and then click on the link icon up here. Enter the URL you want to link to and hit that button to apply or hit enter. And now we have two links in the section right here. And that's how you make clickable text. Let's update and see how that looks on the front end. So the short description right here is a link. We click on that, it goes to google.com. And if we click on this other one, it goes to my website right here. So that's how we add clickable links. There are a couple things you should be aware of. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video. There's something you can do with clickable links that you might not know about, and that is you can make them open in a new tab if you want to. You can't do that when you're highlighting and making links in this inline editing right here, but you can do it on the left-hand side over here. So choose whichever link you want to edit, click on the pencil, then click on the gear. And here we have options like open in a new tab. This will make it so when someone clicks the link, it opens in a new tab, which means that they won't be leaving your site. So let's see how that works. Save that, preview it over here. This first link, we have it set to open in a new tab. Someone clicks on it, it opens a new tab and goes to the link. Let's close that and it goes back to our site. The second one, we don't have that. So if someone clicks on here, they go over to the new site and they're gone off of your site. If they close this, they now won't be on your site anymore. So it's ideal to use that option to open in a new tab whenever you're linking to some place that's not on your website. If you are linking to somewhere else on your website, don't use open in a new tab because that gets super annoying. Because if they go to a lot of pages, click a lot of links, they might have 20 tabs open just from your site, which annoys people, understandably. And if you want to add a link from content on your site, so let's highlight this link right here. I'll show you how that works. Click on this link icon, start typing to find pages, like maybe contact. It pulls up all the pages that it thinks might be related to what you want to link to. Then we just click on it, adds a link right there, click on apply, and we have our link right in there. And if you don't have Elementor Pro yet, click the link in the description down below to get yourself a copy. It is an affiliate link, so if you buy through that link, I do get a commission, and it does not make it more expensive for you. It's just that Elementor shares that referral income with me, and that's what helps me keep making these videos for free and putting them up on YouTube so you can get better at WordPress and Elementor. So if you buy through that link down below, I really appreciate it. This Elementor video is part of my Elementor skills playlist where we cover lots of the basics in Elementor to help you get up and running with Elementor as fast as possible. If you want to check out that playlist, it's a link to in the description down below and probably in a card up above somewhere during this video. So check out that playlist if you want to level up your Elementor skills. And next up, check out the Elementor skills playlist right here, which I referenced throughout this video. If you watch those videos, your Elementor skills will be increased. So if you want to get better, watch that playlist. And if you haven't done so yet, 
Click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss new future videos. My name is Bjorn Alpass from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.